foundation the whole way around. Build it out with a three and a half inch strip of plywood. Drop a two by two wall down to the ground. Glue it onto the concrete. Insulate it in between. And then we have a pre-bent checker plate board that goes on around the perimeter. There's the rigid, there's the two by twos. Pretty uh, exciting. I was fun working with the checker plate. Uh, it goes pretty slow. It's kind of finicky. You have to bend it, square the back of it, bend it. Always been curious to see if I could weld something like this. But one more thing to note would be the garage floor completely covered in Tyvek. So any work we do in here, we can just sweep it up. So we're just gonna quickly double check that our bend is actually at three and a half. From the back side to the bend, a little bit over, two and five eighths, but we'll cut three and a half. We'll take any wows out at the wall. The reason you put a three and a half inch strip, that foundation is never gonna be straight, but the wall that's on top of it is. So if you run a piece of plywood down that and it builds it out, you're not gonna have to follow the curvature of the foundation anymore. I'm actually gonna frame this guy in first because if I run out of lumber for this, I'm probably gonna need to pick it up for tomorrow. So might as well build it, see what I need. 36 inch door going mm, pretty tight to this post. Everything else will be filled in with plywood. Couple studs, two feet on center. It's just plywood, doesn't need a lot of strength, so. Just getting ourselves set up here. So basically what you're gonna do is drop a level down off your three and a half strip, mark it on the floor. Mark it in three spots because you got a long line. Set up your laser at one corner. Shine it down to where it lines up the other line. If you can't see your laser, a little trick is to uh, set your square on the floor. Because if you come in playing with it and look down, you can easily see where it lines up to. So, mark that the whole way down, drop our pressure through to two by twos, run our uprights, and then fill it with insulation. First step. Tapcons, basically screws for concrete. Drill a 316 hole, and this is a quarter inch screw. So it'll sink that down, it'll suck everything down tight. And Don't over suck those screws or they'll strip themselves out and pull all the concrete up and just completely destroy it. Got our bottom plate tacked around the perimeter of the garage. So start back on that corner and work our way around filling in uprights. Got to jump on and sew in all our insulation. Basically these sheets come 24 inches wide so instead of laying out all those studs pre-screwing them in. I just screw them in. 
Oh, even worse. Screw it on the side, and then you bring your piece of insulation, butt it up to it so it's tight, and then bring the next piece in and butt it up and screw it off. Save yourself a little bit of time. That way you can just creep out a big stack of insulation panels and everything is loose. Do one at a item at a time, do it fully, move on to the next item. So I put all my top pieces on three and a half off the wall. And then I ran back, did all my bottom plates, did my framing members and now I'm going back, pre-cut everything, install it all at once. Relatively quick, a lot quicker than jumping back and forth between task to task. If you have to move a hammer drill 40 times, with your skill saw and drill, you're not going to be very efficient. Figure out how to do something quicker and do it. Cut one feet to the size of the knob. So the whole foundation set at 17 and a half inches. Set one at 17 and a half inches. Never lose it. Mark a T on it for template. And then always lose your template to cut the rest of your sheets. Work yourself into a big stock of material so you don't have to keep running back and forth. All right, the world is waking up, the sun is coming out. Everything's warming up because I can hear it dripping out there. Uh, kitchen company was just here checking on their stuff. We got decking guy on the back installing. Painters are on site doing their thing. Finishers are out of the house so the painters can continue, which means I'm locked into the garage. Gotta jump on diamond plating. Hit it with a rasp to clean up any edges be good to go. So currently cutting that piece in that far corner over there. Just be careful enough not to damage any of the painted trim. And that's what you're looking for. We'll clean all that up with silicone after the fact, but everything tucks in nicely and it's covered. So start running that way. Let's see how we made out here. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna give it a little bump. And very beautiful. That's what we're looking for. Okay, chunks of metal are flying and we are mitering. It's looking really good. Corners mitered. I'm just gonna walk this other piece in. Cut out, make a little box around that. There'll be a finished panel on it after. And then miter up to the stairs. That side's done. That's done. That guy's pre-bent sitting right there. That whole run is done. And then we're just gonna got that run to the door. And we're done. Silicone all the joints. I'm good to go. I'm hoping I have enough sheets. Got five left, so should be good. Using some self-topping two-inch metal screws. And that way I don't have to pre-drill anything into the metal. Just sink these guys down and we're good to go. Not gluing it on because we want to be able to take the panels off over time. Thinking this pipe is gonna be built out a little deeper the whole way down to the wall. But making good progress. Should be very close by the end of the day. 
Also, putting a little filler strip in behind the panels so I can sink a screw in the middle and drive them both together so they don't flop. Okay, just uh, took about 15 minutes. Ran off the whole side pretty straight bars when everything's pre-bent for you and pre-squared edges. All you have to do is take your last piece, bend your corner, file off the edges like that. And it looks really good. Everything seamlessly flows through. I kept this piece now, box around that after. Yeah. Other than that, ouch. Pretty much done. I'm pretty excited for it. You know? So, like I said, the last one to go up the stairs is marked 40 degree angle. How I found that is using a handy angle finder. Basically spin it to whatever your degrees are. And it's gonna give you a readout. So 40 degree cut. Cut it, screw it on over there. And then just that panel. We're good to go. After siliconing all the joints. Hopefully I actually cut this right. Just like that, it's all wrapped up. Corners are nicely bent up. Everything's mitered, any gaps will be siliconed after the fact. But, I'm done. A couple extra boards left over. I'll use them up on the next project. These guys will get them. Hello everybody, stay up. All the foundation's covered. All the diamond plate is on. Made it through the day without blowing up a zip disc, so that's always a positive. Any gaps will be siliconed after. These guys will get panels on them up to the stairs. That, all these stairs will be painted after the fact, so I've got to put the door on that guy. But, looks pretty good. Nice clean miters, clean corners. Foundation wrapped, which means I am done for the day. I am tired and extremely dirty from grinding stainless steel all day, but we got the job done. Glad I could show you guys what is involved in putting it all together. If you like the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, hit the little bell next to it give you notifications every time there's a new video up. Plan on doing lots of kind of in the job videos and DIY videos to show you guys kind of what I do and how you can also do the same. Hope everybody has a good night. doesn't get any better than that.